Now to talk about sensation membrane proteins. They play a key role in how our cells sense their surroundings. But how does this process work? To walk us through this, I'm joined by Dr. Kate Poole. You're the symposium speaker here. Thank you so much for joining us. The first question is broad. What are sensation membrane proteins and where are they found? Also, why are they so important? So the, the sensation membrane proteins that I'm interested in are ion channels that are actually activated by mechanical inputs. And they're found in a surprisingly diverse uh, range of cells and tissues. So the ones that um, are easy to imagine are those that sit in your uh, somatosensory system and help mediate our sense of touch and pain. But they're also found in other mechanosensitive cells and tissues, such as the chondrocytes, which are the cells in your cartilage, that need to sense and respond to changing mechanical loads. But also uh, cells like melanoma cells that can actually sense changes in their physical surroundings as they break away from tumours and migrate through the body. That's incredible. How does mechanosensing vary in cell types? And can you give us an example? So this is one of the things that we're actually really focusing on the question of how can cells actually sort out all of these different mechanical inputs. So you can imagine that a cell might be stretched or there's physical inputs coming from the, um, the matrix that they're attached to or there might be shear sensing or flow. So what we're interested in is can we apply these different mechanical inputs and see whether different mechanically activated channels respond um, to one over the other. What molecules specifically are you looking at and how are you doing this? So um, we do, of course, focus on piezo one which is sort of the best characterized mammalian um, mechanosensitive ion channel. But we've comp been comparing that to other ion channels such as trip 4 uh, a new one that we think we've discovered, Elkin one So we can't for sure say that this is a mechanically activated ion channel yet, but we've got pretty good evidence. And then also TREK1. And so what we actually do is we use uh, two techniques that have been well established for a long time in the field to apply mechanical inputs. We can either indent the cell with a large uh, glass probe or we can stretch the membrane using our electrophysiology uh, pipette. But what we wanted to do was actually add another technique where we could directly look at what was going on at that interface between cells and their surroundings. So we grow our cells on an elastomeric pillar array and we can actually move individual elements underneath the cell. And so we've been asking all of these different molecules, do they respond to all of these mechanical inputs or can they actually distinguish between them? So when we look at pH01, we see that it actually responds to all the three types of stimuli. In contrast, TRIP4 is completely agnostic to what goes on when you indent the cell or stretch the membrane. It only senses mechanical inputs when it impinges the cell from this elastomeric substrate. With TREK, we see the opposite, so it doesn't actually respond to um, these substrate deflections. And in, with ELKIN, we get um, yet another profile where what it doesn't sense is membrane stretch. And we think that this is telling us that perhaps cells themselves have a tunable sense of touch. Wow. What does it all mean? <laughs> well, I, I think one of the things that it means is that this mechanosensation is complex. And it also suggests that in different cells and tissues, if you have more than one of these channels, it might be allowing those cells to actually integrate some of these different mechanical signals. Lastly, when's the session and why should people go? So the session is at 10.45 tomorrow morning. That's uh, Monday morning. Um, and people should come along if they want to um, learn more about uh, these kind of, of channels. And there's other talks on uh, Piezo 1 as well and thinking about uh, smell and taste. Incredible. Thank you so much, Dr. Fool. I appreciate you. Thank pleasure. you.